today I'm super excited to show you where we are. Look at it. The best panificio, which is the, the bread maker in uh, Italy. One of the, you, you probably you saw, if you follow me for a long time, I made a video here two years ago about the pizza oven, a uh, pizza oven, it's bread oven and then the, it's super old. So I can't wait to show you the Rosetta, the original Rosetta in a professional way. Buongiorno ragazzi, come Buongiorno. va? Buongiorno. Oh my God. Buongiorno. Si può? Posso fare come se sono a casa mia? Welcome guys, to take a look at this bread. This is the authentic bread from Altamura, corretto? Yeah. Quanto pesa? 5 kg. 5 kg, let's see, let's see if it's soft and crunchy. That's what I'm talking about, soft and crunchy, 5 kilos of bread. These guys, they are famous because they make pane di Gesù. The shape of this bread is outstanding. Take a look, nice and soft. Then it goes on the peel, and then from the peel, bam, one shot. Boom, 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 baby. And now it's time to see how they make this uh, rosetta. Ciao, Vito, come stai? Tutto bene? The owner of Panificio di Gesù. Outstanding place. How old is the oven? This oven was uh, built in the 1842. 1842. So, oh. Let me see. Is some bread coming out? Yeah. Take a look at the bread already cooked. Oh my God. Wow, fantastic. So, oh, hot, soft and crunchy. Outstanding, the pane from Altamura di Gesù. This bread here is super famous. Giuseppe, I'm here to see how you guys make the rosetta because this video is about the rosetta. You are lucky because now you we guys are, make. We, yes, we are starting. Okay, but let's go. Before we have to... Oh. <laughs> to dress Fantastic. this one. Okay? I gotta, I gotta work with you guys. I'm super excited. I'm ready. Let's okay. go. Andiamo, andiamo. Let's go behind the scenes. Oh. So they put the dough here, and they have a machine that makes the balls. Very old school. 40 years old machine. So we're gonna make the balls like that. Of course, guys. I'm gonna show you this later on today. How we make it perfect at home and super easy. Yes. Time that we are waiting for, take a look of the focaccia authentic from Altamura. Soft and crunchy at the same time. Madonna, madonna. Ciao, cheers. 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 Mm. Mm. Oh. Vai, vai. Adesso assaggiamo. And now it's time to go ahead and put the bread in the oven. So we're gonna flip it over. Voilà. And ready to go in the oven. Bye. Press, pull, all the way. Oh, voilà. Bread is in the oven now. We cook it for about 15, 20 minutes. 23 minutes. So we cook it for 23 minutes. Exactly, 23. 23. 20 minutes pass by. This side. And the bread, the rosetta, it's ready. Come to Papa, right there. That's what I'm talking about. Wow! Are we gonna be able to make this at home? Oh, you said sono venuti veramente belli, eh? Top class. Voila! Here we go, guys. This is the authentic Rosetta from Di Gesù Panificio, the best baker in Italy. In oh. Italy, oh. You are very kind. I mean, take a look. We made this the same day. So now, guys, it's time for me to show you how to make this at home. Ora vi faccio vedere come si fanno queste a casa. Ok, in bocca al lupo e buon appetito. Grazie, Vito. grazie Giuseppe. Mua. Mua. So let's go ahead and shopping bye and bye. see you later. Ciao. Oh, Giuseppe, questo me li porto a casa. Ciao. Oh. Ciao. Ok, now it's time to go ahead and shopping and everything. I want to show you that you can find everything at your local store. Here we go, it's uh, all the flour, but definitely you can buy any type of flour. In this case, I'm gonna get the zero zero flour. And also, we will need a little bit of uh, regular semolina. And the last piece is this. You will need something like that to make the fantastic rosetta. Now it's time to go ahead and make this recipe. Let's go. E 
And here we go, we are home and ready to rock and roll and making this uh, rosetta. Rosetta, ripeti? Rosetta. It's gonna be a recipe super easy and simple to make. Guys, this is the direct method. So in three hours, four hours, we're gonna have some amazing, nice, soft, uh, Italian typical uh, bread, which is rosetta. Here we go, we start with uh, putting nine ounces of water, 0.18 of ounces of uh, honey, put it in the water, 0.18 ounces of dry yeast, mix everything. There we go, now, just to make sure the yeast is alive, we keep the in the bowl for about uh, five minutes and we start when we see this starts to bubbling the yeast it's ready okay guys like you can see see these little bubbles that is coming out towards the top that means that the yeast is alive so this is so beautiful just to watch this okay so at this point let's take off this at this point it's time to put the, the flour let's go ahead and let's add 1.8 ounces of semolina melt the semolina in the water a few seconds and now it's time to go ahead 14 ounces of uh, flour make sure the flour absorbs the water just really quick let's go ahead and uh, let's add 0 0.28 ounces of uh, salt there we go now at this point you take off the scale Voila. and let's start to integrate all the water with the flour. Now that the water is all absorbed, we can start to go ahead and work the dough on top of the counter. Let's go ahead and then this way we're gonna start to work the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes. We have to make sure that all the flour is integrated. See all this flour right here? We need to get it, make sure that everything gets together. So this is the way to uh, knead the dough. So you're gonna fold it up and down, up and down, up and down, just like that, until it gets nice, one piece and smooth. Okay, voila, at this point, let's go ahead and let's form a ball, like that, and voila. The dough needs to be nice and smooth. At this point, let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature. Okay, now one hour is passed by and this is the dough. Take a look how soft and nice it is. Voila, see? It's full of air. Put a little bit of flour on the counter and flip over. Make sure you follow these steps because those are the most important steps. Let's go ahead and let's put this this way. Remember, the part on the bottom needs to be on the bottom. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of flour on top. And now we're gonna pretend to make a big pizza. Remember the bottom part. So stretch, the goal is to take off all the air from the crust. Now try to open it, it needs to be a square. Now that the air is not there anymore, don't add any more flour. This is the bottom part. So remember, the bottom part is on top. Let's go ahead and then let's do this folding process. So one, two, three, and four. Like you're making the croissant. Now put it down, take off the air, and roll it, just like that. Close it, voila. At this point, again, let's put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit, not too much. We use this to not get dry. Plastic wrap on top and then cover it. I suggest to put a towel on top if it's cold. But in this case, the room temperature is nice and then I wanna get a nice time lapse. And then we keep this for about 30 minutes at room temperature. Okay guys, there we go. 30 minutes is best by and now it's time. Like you can see the, the dough is even more full of air, outstanding. At this point, let's get a little bit of flour again, like that. Try to flip it over. Remember, always the bottom part on the top. A bit of flour. Now again, 
let's take off a little bit of flour, but that, we don't want to stretch it too much. So this amount of dough, we can make uh, about eight rosette. We need the scale. And uh, so it's going to be two, 2.8 ounces of uh, uh, balls. So this is the top again, which is what's the bottom on top. So basically, we're going to go ahead and fold uh, inside, inside, inside to make a balloon and then go ahead and twist it and close it. Close it like exactly a balloon. And then just make a classic little ball right there. That's the, our future Rosetta bread. Put a little bit of space to each other because they're gonna grow. A little bit of flour on top. Let's go ahead, let's put the plastic wrap on top this way they don't get dry. At this point, let's go ahead and let's cover up with the towel. That's it. Now we let it rest for another 30 minutes. 30 minutes pass by and this is the dough. I can see on the touch that is uh, nice and proof. So now pay attention to this step because this is the most important step to make the authentic rosette. So a little bit of flour, take a look. See this that we bought? This is to cut the apple. From this moment, it's super important to keep all the air inside the dough. Little bit of flour, if it's sticky. So grab this from the exactly from the center of the ball and then you press, press not all the way, but you want to keep it like a, a half an inch under. Show the top here. See the top? Voila. So now don't cut it all the way. See, that's what we want. It's not cut all the way. Now try to try to detach it. So now flip it over, close it a little bit gently like that and then land it down right there. Make sure upside down. So we're going to repeat this with uh, all of them. So voila. Make sure you leave a little bit of space, little bit of flour again, not too much. And now let's go ahead and let's cover up everything. We wait 10 minutes and then we go, we're ready to go ahead and put it in the oven. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on the oven. And get this time to go ahead and share this video. It's totally free, guys. Help me reach these 1 million subscribers and uh, we're almost there. And don't forget, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe right there. It's totally free. And uh, voila, like you can see, they look fabulous. Make sure you don't touch it anymore because this is gonna be super delicate because if you touch it too much, we're gonna basically take off all the air from the inside and then we make a mess. So let's go ahead, flour again. Let's grab a little bit of uh, paper for the oven, voila. So now, watch this. With the spatula, gently go ahead and flip it over and uh, they look really beautiful and full of air. We basically go ahead and put a little bit of flour on top. So now let's go ahead, before we put this in the oven, watch this, is a little secret. Go ahead, let's put some ice inside a little cup here and then place this on the bottom of the oven. Grab our bread and let's go ahead and let's place this on top. There we go. Now turn it on the light and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna check it out all the time here, the color. When it gets like a gold color, the, the bread is ready. So we're gonna give it a nice Italian touch. So stay until the end because we're gonna go ahead and show you what's next, what we're gonna do with this bread. So uh, to make an original Italian sandwich, like in Italy. Okay guys, the bread is ready. I can't wait to show you. I got some ingredients here ready. Look at this. We got some, uh, some things that we're gonna make a special. There we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, be careful your face when you take this out. Wow. Wow. They come out lovely and fantastic. Woo, crunchy. So I want to explain to you a couple of things before we talk about this uh, fantastic perfection. I made a couple of mistakes, you know, because uh, of course this is my first time making these things here. I want to show you. I made this before, see how they come out? They come out too soft and uh, they didn't have, compared to this, this is a, a really crunchy. They come out too soft because the temperature of the oven was not properly done. Take a look. Crunchy. 
This is the perfect home recipe for the homemade uh, rosetta. I want to show you that I, I went to the market to buy these things. Come with me, come with me. Vieni, vieni. I want to show that uh, we actually bought some uh, from the local store, see? So I want to explain, I want to show it to you the difference between uh, homemade and... Uh, so those are the one that we bought and this is the one homemade. Uh, to be honest, they come out much better, the homemade one. So now let's go ahead, let's cut, let's see the inside. This, we don't need to go to the local market. Forget about it. The bottom come out fantastic, perfect. Wow, what can I say? Outstanding. Here we go, guys. It's time to go ahead and cut. They are so lovely that I don't even want to cut it. So, but this is uh, super hot. And this is the magic. It's happening now. Take a look how they are. Nice soft soft and crunchy in the same time that's what i'm talking about crunchy from outside and soft from the inside so now let's go ahead and let me finish up this which is uh, that's what i like to eat this one so we got some little bit of mortadella some nice asiago cheese which is super good also you can switch this with uh, uh, provolone a little bit of uh, olive oil on top of the bread just like that voila the bread, it's ready. Okay guys, it is the time, it's here. I'm looking on this and let's take a bite and let's bring you to Italy when you make this. Wow. I have to say, it's like I expected, super light, outstanding. Let me know your thoughts on the bottom of this recipe, what's easy. Recipe, of course, in the description. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one, guys.